Hi, my name is Jamara Mathis, and this is why I love music. For me, a day without music is neither, but a day with music probably means it's a good day. For me, music, it can be therapy. You have good therapy and bad therapy, but for the most part, it's a good therapy. But it's like a therapy with a group of strangers where you kind of get to know whatever they're thinking inside of their head, and I could probably relate to whatever they haven't vocalized. A music genre has influenced my life the most. I would say, I think gospel music has influenced my life the most because a lot of music isn't that influential. So if I can get a good gospel song and get on the right road for the day, maybe I might have cut somebody out and I need to get back with God, and it's a good gospel song. So I actually went to, I actually attended church for about three or four years in the DMV area, the First Baptist Church of Glen Arden, and Anthony Brown was like one of the lead singers. So anything that he sings, because I can just imagine him on stage singing to me, specifically me, and me and him are just singing to God. So I would say Anthony Brown, Tasha Cobbs, uh, BB and CC Winings, and uh, everyone in their genre. Besides gospel music, I would say that music has helped me um, navigate through rough times, specifically a rough breakup. Yeah, I don't know if it really helped me or hurt me at the end of the day, because it might help some more tears flow, but in the moment, it helped me get my energy out of my body. Like Adele, like Adele's new album that she just released. Yeah. If I were to go through a breakup right now, <laughs> uh, I'd be in my house for a week. Um, I would say old, uh, not old, but like two, early 2000s, Beyonce and Mary J. Blige. For me, it just kind of reminds me of uh, my family, like my mom and my sister, because during those times, it was just like the three of us after the divorce just kind of, it's like home for me and family all in one. And I just kind of just feel at ease whenever I hear her song and I know the words. I would say no, cause I'm always thinking about everything. So music doesn't really help me get there cause I'm already there. It's like, I could like one song one week and it can help me, I guess maybe get in touch with a feeling that week, but the next week it means absolutely nothing to me. So my answer is really no. I do. Awesome. Burn a boy. Personally, I feel like I learned a burn a boy. I don't want to say I uh, not invent, like invented burn a boy, but <laughs> I would say that I found burn a boy before burn a boy was like mainstream. Before Afro beats was kind of really mainstream in the United States, like a couple years ago, I was listening to burn a boy for a while. Like burn a boy, he could be my husband, honestly. <laughs> Let's see who else I listen to. So yeah, Burner Boy, Mr. Uh, oh yeah, Whiskey. I do listen to him. And he's nice, nice studying music for the most part. Mr. Easy, yeah. So Kofi isn't technically Afrobeats, but she's in that same uh, playlist for me, and I like Kofi a lot. Uh, for me, currently, a song for me on the first date would be called "Call You Tomorrow" by. I don't know, it's called Call You Tomorrow, Somebody Fish. It's just like, you can't, to me it means like I had a good date and I don't want to tell you I really like you, but I do like you and I want to talk to you tomorrow. But yeah, if we have a bad date, I'm going home. Uh, I don't know, because I'm always listening to different music, that doesn't really mean that's a reflection of me. It's just a reflection of my energy for that time. So like, let's say like you're mad right now. That doesn't mean that you're a mad person. So somebody's taste in music is not a reflection of their personality, but it is bonus points if we have the same taste for our friendship. Judging someone based on their musical preferences is definitely shallow because if you're judging me off of what I'm listening to, you're probably shallow. Music. No, everyone likes music. That's some form of music. There are people who don't like hip hop or rock, but you probably like one or the other or something. Um, when I'm listening to a song for the first time, I'm not musically inclined. However, I know if a song is horrible, so I'm probably listening to the lyrics unless it's all melody, so I'm forced to listen to the melody. 
the best like music for me is the 2000s because so I'm a 90s baby but I was born in Germany so mainstream media wasn't really a thing in my house we only had one TV we only watched it maybe to like watch a movie on like VHS or something we I think we listened to the radio in the car sometimes but yeah we listened to the radio but I was introduced to music when I moved to America, and so that was like in the early 2000s, so that's the music I know. So that's important, if I know it. So I don't really think that there's one answer for this, so I have made my own answer of hip-pop. So like hip-hop and pop, but hip-pop. <sighs> Why do I love music? I love music because it kind of taps into your unsaid emotions. Music is something that you can listen to no matter how you feel. So you can be in your bed and have COVID and not want to watch TV and you're going to listen to some music. Or you can be drunk and not have COVID and you can listen to some music. But during those times, like TV might not be for you, which oftentimes TV isn't for me. I just like music. Square shooter, because I'm blunt. Drake. I don't buy music. <laughs> I guess Spotify, so I mean, technically, if they just want to send all my music, my money to Drake. Yeah. No. Let's say, like, take care. Yeah, take care. That's the album, though. Uh, <laughs> let me look this up. Hmm, <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Now I'm looking up what's in my like songs of Drake, and I'm show you. Oh, what's the song with him and Rihanna? Take care. Yeah, that is a song. Yeah, that's a song? Yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, take care is definitely the song in the album. <laughs> uh, politely decline. <laughs> Okay, do you know the line, the, the first, the verse? Yeah, but I can't sing. Uh, okay. Okay. You can just read it, but uh -huh. not looking at all that. Um, can I just play like two seconds of the song? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is embarrassing. <laughs> all right, my favorite song is Yeah, but Burn a Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so yeah. do you know the first three lines? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like half a song. <laughs>